your book Fully Alive has, uh, uh, I mean, it, it's probably one of the most inspirational books, probably the most that I've ever had a chance to read. Thank you. Now, in there, you have a story about your uncle Jack, President yeah. Kennedy. Uh, you know, uh, tell us about that and, yeah. and the story that your uncle Ted and your yeah. mom told before they went. Well, I was, I'm fast. I was, I have been fascinated because this became my life. Education and uh, and inclusion became my life. So I asked my uncle one night about seven or eight years ago, obviously when he, both he and my mom were alive. I said, what impact do you think Rosemary had on your life? Not on your legislative track record, not on the ADA or passing bills or these kinds of things, public policy, but on you as a human being. And he said, well, you know, I remember this one story cleared his throat. This was at Sunday dinner with 100 kids running around, so it wasn't exactly a focused environment, but he cleared his throat. He said, I'll remember this one story. He said, you know, we went to a party down in Palm Beach, and we all went, and uh, of course, mother said, uh, include, you bring Rosemary along. So uh, he turned to my mother, Uni, you were there, and uh, Jack was there, and Rosie was there, and we were all at the pool. It was a lunch party. And I looked out at one moment, and I, I saw Rosemary. And she was sitting down uh, at the end of the pool with her legs in the water all by herself. And all the other young people were talking and having a good time. And I looked over, and I saw Jack. And he was with all the pretty girls. Uh, uh, and uh, I saw him get up, and he walked right in front of me, by me, and he went down to the edge of the pool where Rosemary was sitting, and he put his feet in the water. And he was there, they were together, alone. And he said, I'll never forget that as long as I live.